installing this swing case toolbox on my truck. The process is similar for most makes and models. My truck's a 2004 Ford F-150. This particular unit is for 99 to 14 F-150s and I'll link this one down below in the description. As you guys can see, I'm holding it up. It's empty right now, but it's not too heavy. The reason that I got this is because it's pretty small and it fits under my tonneau cover. It's on a little like hinge system so it swings out to you on the tailgate and it doesn't take up too much space because as you can see, it kind of goes over the wheel arch so it doesn't take up any usable space of your bed floor. Before I get into the install, I want to give a shout out to Big Larry's F-150 on Instagram. He's been a support of the channel and my Instagram page since day one. I appreciate you, man. He's got a badass 11th gen FX400. I'll put a picture of it on the screen right here. Thanks for the support on the channel and on Instagram and always showing me love. If you guys want to get shouted out on one of my YouTube videos, just make sure you follow me on Instagram at just King Adrian and submit your truck. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video. Let's get this thing on. Okay, so here we are. Swing case, the most versatile truck storage box on the market. Convenient storage, swings out, lockable, removable. You know what, they had me sold at Versatile and I bought it and it came a few days later and here we are. So here's the actual box. There you go, you see their logo plastered right on the side, swing case. It already has this bracket attached, the little pull handle. There's a lock up top, some little cup holder insert and a little indent, I guess you could put some stuff there. So it opens up, hinges on one side. When you purchase this, you purchase it for a driver or passenger side. So I got a driver side, so everything's gonna be set up to be on the driver side. But if you guys look in here, it's empty right now, so there's nothing down there. There's a little tray right here for the top and there's a little indent compartment right there for the wheel arch section. And that little tray just slides right back in there. So there you go. I mean, pretty simple construction, really thick plastic. It's kind of deep. It's not as big as I thought it was gonna be, but then again, that's not necessarily the point. I mean, they don't advertise it to be the biggest thing. Uh, you know, they advertise it to not take up a lot of space because it goes over the wheel arch. So, you know, as you guys probably know, if you have a truck, when you load things in, like let's say you load wood, a dresser, furniture, you can never get things past the wheel arch for the most part anyways, or it's not the most efficient loading. And it's just kind of dead space most of the time. So that's the whole advertising point of this is that it's taking up that dead space and it's not necessarily taking up any of your bed space. Okay, so that's what came with here. It came with all the keys for this lock and it also came with keys for a lock or something over here. So we'll get to that. Okay, so when I opened it up on the inside was the warranty, installation guide, and a pivot lock installation. So that's what the other key is for. And then here's all the parts that it came with. So they are wrapped up in this foam. This is the bracket that actually goes to the backside of the truck bed. This one bolts to that and also goes to the inside of the truck bed on the side. This is the pivot lock. I don't know how this works. And this is the hardware that it comes with and the keys for the top lock and that pivot lock. From what I was seeing, there's also a spot like through here that you can put a lock on. So I don't know if that's replacing it maybe, but a lock so that it doesn't come off of the hinges. Cause like I was saying, it's removable. So that way if somebody were to get under your tonneau cover somehow and wanted to steal this thing, you could put a lock on there where they can't actually remove it. I'm not sure if that's replacing that or how that works. That's just so that it doesn't swing out. I'm not hundred percent sure yet. So we'll get to that when we get to it. So just off first impressions, I tell you guys, it's pretty good construction. Now, the one thing that I did not like about this thing was the price. They retail for about $200. I bought mine open box on Amazon. If you guys can afford to take the little bit of risk, open box is a pretty good discount sometimes so i did that with this everything was there obviously it's pretty good it looks like maybe somebody just bought it by mistake or changed their mind sent it back the box is a little beat up but everything in here is brand new the price is pretty expensive by looking at it I would have liked to have spent about half of that. Maybe I'm just being cheap, but I would have loved to spend half of that. But at the end of the day, I think that in the long run, it will be worth it. So just keep that in mind when you guys are looking at options. I thought about just getting like a little portable toolbox and putting a tie down, holding it in there. But then that would kind of defeat the purpose of like having a full-time tool box that's gonna stay in the truck. I don't know. I just kind of battled with that in my own head and then decided to pull the trigger. I'll give you guys an update on how I feel after I've run it for a couple months and we'll see if I love it. Okay, so I got everything set up here in the bed. So now that the toolbox is in the bed, you can kind of see that it's going to mount back here somewhere. You can kind of see how it hugs the wheel arch and then it swings out this way after you pull this little release lever. So these brackets are gonna bolt up against here. This is gonna go onto the hinges and be able to swing out. And that lock was for the hinge, so you can actually lock this thing in there so nobody can take it out. So that's pretty cool that it comes with that. So step number one is to take this bracket. There's these little black covers on those threads right there. Okay, so you're gonna take these two brackets, and then once you have those exposed, you're gonna put it onto there, and then take the two nuts that come with it to mount these two brackets together. So now that these two brackets are together, it kind of gives you a better picture of how it's gonna go on there. So that's gonna bolt up here. The striker pad's gonna bolt down here. And this is actually where it's gonna lock into place for that little pull pin. Sorry if my knee's just in the frame this whole time, just giving you guys some skin. 
but it's uh, over 100 degrees out here. It's like monsoon season, so it's actually pretty humid, which we don't usually get in Vegas. So I'm just out here in my gym shorts, living my best life, doing this install with you. So I appreciate you hanging out with me in this humid monsoon season and getting this thing done on my truck. Okay, the next step is to take a Torx bit and remove your factory tie down right here. And this step's gonna be like different depending on your making model. So there's obviously different variations for different makes and models. So just make sure you're reading your instructions. But again, this is probably gonna be generally similar to your installation. So for my instructions, it just said to reinstall it upside down. So there it is upside down. So obviously for my truck, they told me to flip it upside down so that it can clear this bracket. So it says to install this side flush to the bed floor. So pretty much wherever that's gonna get in there flush is where you're gonna bolt to it. So all of these are like self tappers. So you're gonna self tap in all the holes that they give you. And I think after that, it's pretty much on there. You just gotta slide this thing on and then we'll figure out the lock. So it seems pretty straightforward. Like I said, I looked at instructions for other trucks, minus kind of the positioning or maybe the brackets and holes you're gonna use. Very similar, obviously every bed's different. So here we go. Okay, so now that these are all on there, I'll show you guys. Here's the bracket. Here is where I put the brackets together. So it's these two right there. Here is where it is flush to the bed floor. There's all these holes right here. Again, all self tappers. So I just use my little tiny craftsman gun and a little socket right there. Push these suckers in there. Here's the reason why I flipped it upside down. And here is where I bolted it on the backside. So self tapper, so you don't wanna just put them in there and push too hard because then you're gonna strip it out. So as soon as it got tight and I saw it push the plate against the bed, I stopped right there. So this thing is on there, nice and sturdy. So let's move along. Okay, so now you take the entire bin and you're gonna lower it onto the hinges. There we go. There you go. That's the stowed away position. So that's in there. A little bit of flex to it, but it's empty right now. There you go. And then you pull this little lever down there. It'll pull open, let it hit the striker and shut. So let's fill this thing up and then we'll put on the hinge lock and then we'll do some test runs with this thing. Okay, so before we go over this thing, let me show you guys how this pivot lock works. So on some other posts, I was saying that you have to use a little padlock to lock that thing or something along those lines, but this must be maybe updated or I don't know if this is an upgrade now with their kits, but it's a pivot lock. What that means is that people cannot lift it off these hinges and take your box out including yourself so you definitely want to make sure you keep your keys handy but you pretty much just take this thing right here you're going to put it in there at an angle i'm doing it with one hand there you go and then once you swing this thing in there's a little slot in there and that's where your lock goes into and it's the same key so now this thing cannot be lifted off because it kind of fills in this gap uh, without taking this lock back off so there you go, there's your little pivot lock. That's pretty cool. Makes me feel a little more comfortable leaving stuff in there. So now let me give you guys a little one-handed demo. So that's locked up and there you go. Pull that thing. And this is how far it comes, right up to your bed cable pretty much. It would be cool if there was a little stopper to put down so it holds it there. I'm also kind of on a hill, so that doesn't help. There you go, opens right up. You can get to what you need to while standing out here on the floor. So that, I thought that was pretty cool that you don't need to jump up in your bed. And I'm gonna show you guys with my tonneau cover closed how much space I have, but there we go. Close it right up, let it swing. Don't slam it, just let it go right into the hinges and uh, or right into the latch and it's good to go. Now it's locked in place and out of your way. So let me load it up, let's clean up and then I'll give you guys my thoughts on it and we'll do a couple more test runs. Sorry if it's a little bit dark, but I wanted to show you guys with the tonneau cover all the way shut. So this is all the way shut and you can see how much space there still is between that toolbox and the tonneau cover. So you come over here on this side, pull your latch and you swing it out. That was with one hand, my left hand, and it's full right now, and it's pretty freaking heavy, so I'm happy with that. I think I might even have it a little overfilled, so I might need to uh, consolidate some of the tools in here, but it's locked right now, so you see I just let it swing in there, and now it's shut, so it's in there. We've got our pivot lock installed, so it's not going anywhere, and that latch latches really easily and quickly. So when you pull this thing open, you're gonna take your key. Once you put your key in there, you're gonna unlock it, but the key doesn't actually twist the lock. This plastic outside does. So you see it's unlocked right now. So that's what's actually spinning the lock. The key just 
locks it so you cannot lock and unlock it if that makes any sense okay so opening it when it's all the way open it does kind of get caught on my tonneau cover so it doesn't open all the way but it's actually kind of holding it in place in a weird way so again i'm on a hill that's the only thing i noticed so far is that it wants to swing back shut so i'm actually kind of having to hold it i'm holding my camera with this hand so i'm sure if i had two hands it'd be a little bit easier but you can see i fill up this top little uh, tray right here with all my my jump box my headlamp a little black light some fuses I got an extension cord, lights, 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 tape measure, tie down, uh, my Hanes manual, another light. I have my wrench set, my socket set, and then I have two bags just full of miscellaneous tools, screwdrivers, pliers, uh, all my Allen keys and Torx bits and all that kind of stuff. So I kind of have a pretty decent like roadside mobile kit that I've been building up throughout the years. So the reason I was saying I think I might have overfilled it is because I kind of have to like squeeze it a little to push this down into the lock with two hands. I think that little half an inch of bulge up there might be a little too much or it's just a two-handed job to get this thing shut. So let me shut it real quick. So this lip actually goes on the outside so it goes over it and that's why I kind of need to like push this in to push it down. But right now it's fully locked and shut. And there it is stowed away, out of the way and it's perfect. I actually got like a little extra tool bag. I don't know if you guys saw in the background, a tool bag from Harbor Freight that I'm gonna use for kind of like some mobile jobs. I have my net back here for when I got groceries or other stuff like that. So the main purpose is to keep my bed nice and empty. That's just uh, the box I gotta throw that away. And yeah, so there goes the update on that. If you guys have any questions about anything with the swing case, let me know down in the comments. And again, I'll probably give you guys a little mini updates in the future about how it's going and what I think. It wasn't a cheap mod, so I don't wanna just say, go grab yourself one right away. If it's not for you, it's not for you. If it is, then it's probably perfect for you. Well, it wasn't a hard install, but it's hot, so it made it hard. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any questions about the swing case let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to get a swing case for your truck click the link down below in my description it is an affiliate link so i get a small commission for anything you buy through there so i appreciate that let me know in the comments where you guys are watching from let me know what kind of truck you drive and subscribe for more videos peace